so now I want to talk a little bit about age and about time. So creatives, we can often use age as an excuse to not be creative. We can say, oh, I'm too old, I'm too old to do that, I'm too old to learn it. Um, but what uh, using age in that way is actually an excuse and it's almost like perfectionism and what it is is a defense. We're defending ourselves against being a beginner. It kind of feels bad to be a beginner when you're in your 50s or 60s or 70s or 40s or and you feel like you should have already learned that. So the joke is you know, how old, how old will I be when, uh, when I'm a great artist? It's like, well, the same age you'll be even if you're not a great artist. So, you know, live, live in the moment, live now. When, when you're working on your art, you are ageless, you are timeless. I know for me, I often feel like my work is very childlike, but I also feel like that's a part of the gift that I'm offering to the world. I'm trying to remind all of us to be playful, to have fun, to use our imagination, to be just a little bit unsure of what's going on in the world, I, like we were when we were children. So it doesn't matter how old I am to, to start creating that. Um, the small becomes large as we um, look at our own courage, as we look at our strength, we can see times in our lives where we have faced things straight on. Um, so it's good to remember, remember individual circumstances where we have been strong and apply them to, to this process because um, even if it's just small, it becomes large. Um, so she talks about the concept of filling in the form and this is just to help our self-esteem. This is a way to make us feel better as people, to make us feel more um, courageous and stronger to, instead of feeling like I have to make all of these big changes to make it this form, and we just fill in one piece at a time. So she gives the example of, I wanna make changes that make me feel good in, and the example she gives like from my shoulder to the top of my head. So. Obviously, for a real timely example, I got my hair cut. I did this big change just to make me feel better about myself. But maybe you get a new pair of glasses, or maybe you wear earrings and, and a necklace. I guess it would have to be kind of high to be above your shoulders. Or you buy a new hat, or you wear more makeup, or you wear less makeup, or whatever, that, that you make a change from here to here that makes you feel better about yourself. Or it could be I'm going to make a change from here to my thighs, and that's what Julia calls the Victoria Secret part of um, part of this chapter, part of the art, the artist way. And it's just to make you feel good. It's just to remind you that you are powerful. Um, and these tiny changes um, actually will accumulate, and we'll notice, especially at this point, that we are we are much stronger and more creative than we were.